I quit. Ah. Ah. That was actually my uh, parking pass for school, so I probably shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have thought about this before I did that. Well, hopefully I can get another one at school. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this channel. Name is Eliseo, or L for short, whichever you want to call me. I don't mind either way. Now, the reason for this video is because, as everybody knows, YouTube is taking away monetization for the smaller channels. And I say taking it away because a lot of smaller channels already have this right. Well, I don't know if right is the right word for it. They were given permission to monetize on their videos if they reached the previous threshold of 10,000 views. Now, what this video is going to be about is what I feel like you as a content creator should or shouldn't do. And hopefully, you know, give you some motivation or, you know, good advice. And hopefully you'll be able to pick a good lane or road or whatever you want to call it. A good path to take. I'll also sprinkle in some of my thoughts on this whole debacle, not kind of debacle, because bigger create content creators actually agree with it, which, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. They get a lot of benefit from it. They can, uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Actually, no, I'll talk about it now because I'll forget. The bigger content creators get the biggest benefit from this because then that's more ad revenue going to them. Um, they don't have to worry about the smaller channels getting some of the ads and the ad revenue money where the bigger channels probably want more of it. And YouTube has the preferred partner program where, uh, as you know, Jake Paul was recently removed from. I didn't even know there was a preferred program. I'm sure a lot of people didn't know there was a preferred program. So if there's any more evidence that YouTube plays favorites, there it is. Preferred program. Didn't tell people about it. I think they kind of slipped up on telling us about that happening or about that existing. But as I was saying, the bigger creators that can keep the monetization, they're going to get more of it. Because the thing about YouTube is there's only so much, there's only so many ads that can go around to videos. And so much that I believe the, uh, the companies that are placing the ads will spend on said ads on videos. So if... YouTube could cut out the smaller channels taking up, you know, a couple of cents here and there. They can repurpose those few cents to the bigger channels that are getting more views and making them more money in turn. At least that's my thoughts on it. That's what I see happening. The other thing that I think might have happened and is probably not related at all is the whole Jake Paul incident. YouTube wants to make sure that people aren't uploading bad things bad apples and such which seems like this will be a kind of a backward move to make to punish the smaller channels for things that the bigger channels are doing and i could be wrong this decision could have been a long one in the running or a long one in the coming whatever you want to say it could have been coming for a long time and they just implemented it at a really bad time where you know all this controversy over jake paul and things going on with PewDiePie and all those big channels so if it's not related to that cool but the timing of it makes it seem like it's related to that and the smaller channels are being punished but either way those are kind of my thoughts on it like I said bigger channels benefit the most from this kind of change they get more money they don't have to worry about fighting the smaller channels for these ads and such plus maybe they'll kind of back down on their AI algorithm that they have that are flagging videos left and right that are suitable for advertisers and such because I know for me I made a video about taking contacts out like a video or two or, uh, like a video or two ago and they demonetized it saying that it might not be suitable for advertisers which I'm like I guess poking my eye could make it not suitable for advertisers but that kind of sucks I mean it sucks just having videos being flagged for any reason that you can't even think of. But anyways, um, I guess another big argument for the big creators is that the little creators that, you know, are being taken off this monetization 
permission or whatever weren't making much at all which i could see i wasn't making a whole lot but i was i was still making some money and it was encouraging to see the money that i was making increase more and more each month it may not have been much but i made a lot more than these bigger content creators are claiming that small creators will make like they'll say like if you get like four thousand hours of watch time or something you only make like a like two dollars and fifty cents well i'm nowhere near four thousand watch hours and i've made like what would i say over 10 times that much with less than four thousand hours of watch time so for them to say stuff like that really makes me feel like they're really out of touch with the smaller people and the smaller content creators and they seem to think that because they struggled when they first started that everybody has to struggle i mean i guess i could see it that you know there might be a little better that youtube was a little more relaxed on people monetizing but that's no reason to punish the people that are proved that they can monetize and aren't bad apples like myself never had a strike never have any problems on my videos every time like every one of them that got flagged as soon as I submitted them for a review, they were fine. So it kind of sucks that the good apples are being punished for the bad apples. I feel like YouTube should possibly, like if they can, review the channels that have monetization rights right now and you know, approve them or deny them based on their content. Um, there's another YouTuber I watched, his name is Talos of Tech. Actually, I think he was talking about his other channel, Talos of Talk. He was talking about how you know, part of the reason YouTube was doing this was because they wanted to stop other channels from stealing other content creators' work, placing them on their own channel, and monetizing off of somebody else's work, which I can see. But then again, when Talos of Talk was talking about it, he was saying that he found other channels of stealing his content, and he report them, but YouTube will say that they found nothing wrong with their channel stealing that Talos of Talk's content. So it's like, why not just ban these channels that are being reported for these things instead of just taking away monetization from everybody? I mean, it makes no sense. Like I said, maybe review the channels I have it. Anyways, I digress. Um, my main point here, what should you do right now? As a small content creator, whether you had monetization and it's being taken away or you never had it and you were working towards it for your first time, I think that you should not quit. I know a lot of people are saying that they're going to quit YouTube now, go to other platforms and such. And I can understand that. I like had a slight, like quick two second thought about quitting. But then I just remember, you know, even if this new goal is going to be impossible for me to get in like the next two years or so, which it probably will be impossible for me to get in the, in the next two years, I'm gonna still make my content because for me, I enjoy making content for YouTube. I enjoy vlogging a lot. I vlog because, well, several years back, one of my brothers passed away and I realized we had like nothing on him, no videos. Like, well, we had some stuff, We, but it was barely any videos, barely any pictures of him. Like there's barely anything left behind from him. And it makes me really sad that I can't like go back and look at past memories with him. Like sure, it's never gonna leave my head, but it can kind of get fuzzy and fade after a while when pictures and videos are, you know, more forever than memories at times, unless, you know, later or whatever. Crazy stuff happens. So that's why I personally vlog and why I enjoy doing it and why I like, you know, helping other people with my videos, such as some of my older ones where I'm changing taillights and headlights and stuff. People seem to really enjoy that. But I enjoy making videos. And if you enjoyed making videos from the start, you weren't really thinking about the monetization, I think you really should not quit. Even if you never make it to monetization again, if you love it and you have fun doing it, then do it. Just keep doing it. And eventually you might get there. You'll probably get there before I do. And you know, good for you. I'm happy for you. I'm, like I said, I'm probably not ever going to get there. Nobody really likes watching new people with vlogs with boring life, going to school and stuff. <laughs> but anyways, don't quit. And if you do quit, if you do decide to quit, that's fine too. Uh, YouTube is not for everybody uploading videos, editing videos. It's really not for everybody. Heck, it's not even really for me that much because I'm really lazy. I don't really like editing my videos, but I do it. 
Sometimes I'm really late. Actually, a lot of times I'm really late to editing my videos and uploading them, but I try my best. So if you want to quit, that's perfectly fine too, you know, but I implore you to not quit because then if you quit, you're going to give people like me a better chance of making it to where you want it to be. And you don't want that. I mean, look at me. I'm wearing glasses. I mean, look at this face. Do you really want this face to beat you out? Do you really want this face to be the one to get what you've been wanting, but kind of quit because of this little setback? Well, kind of a big setback, but because of this setback? No, you want to keep going and keep pushing and achieve your dreams. Don't quit. Just because they move the goalposts on your dreams doesn't mean you should just quit. It's not impossible. Just keep going for it. Keep making your videos, keep making great content, uploading them, editing them. Be faster at editing them than I am and be faster at uploading them than I am. Just keep going. The money will come later, most likely for you. It will come later. And when it does, all your hard work and all this setback right now, it'll just be a memory. You'll forget all about it and you'll just love it. You'll, you'll be really happy that you didn't quit. So that's my thoughts. Don't quit. This YouTube thing sucks, but you know, can't really do about it. Good job for you bigger creators. You're getting what you want because like every one of you that I've watched a video on so far have agreed with these changes. And I know it's because, I know part of it is because you're getting more money out of ad revenue. You just don't want to say it. But hey, good for you guys. Don't quit, keep going, keep moving forward. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, like down below. If you want to comment, talk to me some more about it down below. If you think I'm wrong, comment down below and we'll have a civil discussion about it. Um, share the video, get it out there so more and more people can see it and maybe make the decision to not quit after all. And subscribe because I make vlogs, I make videos, how to videos fairly often. Next month, I'm making a uh, vlog. I'm, every day I'm daily vlogging for February and I'll be vlogging from my iPhone as I am right now just to show that it's possible to everybody to vlog with just your iPhone you don't need a special kind of camera a high-tech camera I bought a Sony last year it was like a thousand dollars it turns out I really didn't need it, it was, I, I really shouldn't have bought it I shouldn't have used my money to buy it but I want to show people you can vlog with your phone it's perfectly fine check out this quality it's perfectly fine so remember use your back camera as a little tip and uh catch you later